This is the last video of the series, and we're going to talk a little bit about purchasing power parity. Now, P that's PPP, and EPPP is the ratio of average prices between countries. So, this is the formula EPPP equals the price of one country over the price of another country. So, let's do an example. So, for example, uh, uh, EPPP equals price of US over price of China. So, if uh, for example, for example, if for example, uh, EPPP is equal to 2, then roughly on average, uh, on average, 1 yuan, which is the currency of China, 1 yuan in China is like is like two dollars two dollars us in uh, us and that is that both both offer they offer the same level of enjoyment same level of enjoyment same level for enjoyment the one yuan and one yuan and the two two us dollars and that's it pretty much if for example eppp equals two then roughly on average one yuan in china is like two dollars in of US dollars in US and they offer the same level of enjoyment one yuan and two dollars in US so pretty much if you can spend two dollars in US on a jersey then you can spend one yuan on a jersey in China and, and have the same level of enjoyment and that's uh, the brief introduction I want to give you on purchasing power parity and this is our last and final video so uh, please 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 uh, rate comment and subscribe uh, this would not be my only series. I'm intending to do uh, more series and introducing some more uh, friends of mine to also do series on subjects that they are good on. So uh, by subscribing, you'd get a, a lot of advantages and pretty much no disadvantage. And that's pretty much it. This is the end of the series for introduction to microeconomics or macroeconomics and I hope you enjoyed it and again please rate comment subscribe and I'll see you guys later thanks for watching